campaigns and create ganks, but the war coverage is already there for Fnatic. Rainover does have early game presence on Gragas, and they might be looking to take some power on oh, Dyrus. Baby, right onto Dyrus. That's first blood, and Fnatic are on the board. And that's exactly what we talked about in Picks and Ban. The numbers, let's just look at the 20 minutes. Fibber than tradition, 6 CS down. Bjergsen, traditionally 20 CS up when you get to that 20 minute mark. That is a scary, scary landing place. We'll Operation kind of Killed Iris right here. Oh, Killed stop. Iris once again. He's been to this dance before, though. Escape Summoners makes him a little bit vulnerable as Bengi may demonstrate right now. Coming through, Dyrus already low. There's a knockup. Dyrus in big trouble. First blood goes to SKT. Bengi, he was a bit too far up, wasn't he? First, yep. so they can take that Dyrus because he's obviously not going to run away from the minions. And they want that range up. bar. Coming in, Dyrus in a little bit of trouble. Look at Faker moving out. Fleeing Faker, they're trying to cut him off. Dyrus running into the enemy jungle. He's deep behind enemy lines now. And I don't know. I don't think this is going to end well for Hecarim. Looks like he's trying to get to the turret to maybe get an execute, but nope, no chance there. Just going to run right yeah. back in, and we're off to the races. Hecarim, he's going to win like a one-man horse race, but in the end, he's still going to get taken out by SKT. There is two kills. Whoa! First proxy farming a bit, though, and that's going to prompt a teleport from Marin. Here come no. the home guards. And the frozen mallet is completed. He's still got that red buff, too. Wow, flashing over the wall. Boy, Meanwhile, next fight gets behind him. Faker coming in as well. Dyrus in big trouble. Marin may just go ahead and give this one over to Faker. We'll see. Marin, nope, takes it for himself. You can't right proxy on. farm in that situation. And they're making it hard for Darius. Once again, he has the lane shoved, has to get chased out. Won't even get experience. Goes back to Wards, but he uh -oh. is Zonard out here. He's going to get popped up. Dyrus does not have Flash. He is uh -oh. going to go down for first blood. Playing poorly, though. I think this is just HQ's playstyle working fantastically yeah. against the likes of TSM, who want to have control, but HQ just play in chaos. And these types of things keep ticking against you. You're losing the top laner. You're losing just members of the Scion. Both Ooh, top laners left on island. Both Mundo and Scion. Oh, are here we go. It's all about who gets the aggro first yep. and how they execute. On the clear love, Mako taking it right now. Dyrus yeah. trying to get that sub. Dyrus in a lot of trouble. There is a Ren for the first blood. Def taking it. Dyrus. From all places, the NA Challenger scene. Seraph played a lot of it. It took over a bunch of games. Oh, Dyrus in a little bit of trouble. Dodges clear love. Mako coming in though from behind. Will they try to dive this again? The minion wave. I think it's going to say yes. Dyrus already down in half health, still just level four. And there he goes yet again. Kill number two this time, going over to Clear Love. Eat like that, they should be doing more with this card. And Instead, uh, it's Death not, is now level six. It's not Dyrus's fault this keeps happening, but what do you expect? A nice death sentence on the Dyrus. That's three kills already. Man. Top winner, let alone one that then required some kind of an economy. I don't like that plan, but that's what happened, yeah. <laughs> you want the opportunity to do a little bit more damage? I'd like the opportunity to play League of Legends. That's fair enough. That's fair. I can't argue with that.